Tutty, tutty, gang, gang, gang. Welcome to another Madden 20 video. Today we're going to break down the most insane blitz in Madden 20. Plus, I'm going to give y'all a bonus run defense and coverage defense. But before we get into the video, do your part. Drop a like on the video. Make sure your subscription and your notifications is turned on. If you already got notifications turned on, deactivate it and then reactivate it so you can always be alerted as soon as a video goes live. If you want to be a part of the Tutty Gang, all you got to do is go in the comment section, make sure you are subscribed, and write Tutty Gang below. Now let's get into the video. So the 3-4 solid, real good. I'm going to show you what I did with the personnel. I put my hardest hitter in this cornerback position. He has real good zone, but if they try to dump it off when you are sending that heat, He's going to jar the ball loose. He's going to give you fumbles. He's going to give you interceptions. And that's key. So if you're playing like the Seahawks or anybody with hard hitters, they have linebacker hard hitters. Some other teams have a cornerback. Or if you're in Mutt, you can put all your safeties with hard hitters right here in this cornerback position. So the play we're going to go over is the strike spy two. Real good. So the first time we're going to do is we're just going to block a... Uh, we just gonna have a nine blocking running back if they send a lot of routes out. Now, this is not an every down play. This is something that you mix in with your coverages. So my video yesterday, if you want a great coverage defense without a blitz, go check that out. I'm telling you, crazy craziness in that video. Lock down, it'll do the gun tight, it'll do gun bunch, it'll do split close. It will lock down the entire field with quick adjustments. So the first setup you want to do right here is you want to base a line wire triangle and then to the right on the right stick. Then you want to push D pad to the right and then blitz all right stick down. Now, all you want to do is push D pad to the right and then down on the left stick. It says pinch. And then you can press a couple times to get them all in the box. Now, where the running back is at, man him up with the running back and the play is all set. Now, what you want to do behind it is all up to you. So if you think it might be uh, a quick pass down the seams, push YY, triangle, triangle, take him, put him in a hook curl, left stick down, just like that. If you think it's a chance that it might be a drag and you don't jump to it real fast, take YY, triangle, triangle, go to A, and then man him up right there. That soft flat over there will follow that route because there's no running back on that side. Remember that, it's no running back on that side, so he will carry and follow that guy. So you can put him into a, you can shade down, shade up, put him into a cloud flat. It's all up to whatever you want. So we're gonna stay right here and hover, and somebody is gonna come free. And that time we get two people free, but that's not blocking anybody. The whole point of this is mix it in and and making him block a tight end, block a running back. And then think about it. They're going to start picking their offensive plays based on what you are doing, but you always let them pick their plays first. So say you sent a lot of pressure to them on second down. Now they got to pick an offense where they're going to block more people. They're going to come in planning on blocking the running back. They're going to uh, pick a play planning on motion blocking. And that's when you can go into the nickel two, four, five. It's going to give you that same look like a lot of people is coming, but it's only going to be three people rushing and a lot of people in zones. And it's real, real good. So we're going to do it again. We're going to base a line. We're going to blitz all linebackers. We're going to pinch the linebackers. And then we're going to press till we get them down. So they in the box. We're going to man him up. Now you can make your adjustments. You can shade down, shade up. That'll give you clouds. Put him in the yellow zone. Man him up right there and just stay in this gap. That's going to hold the running back right there. And somebody going to come free. Two people came free again. Two people off the edge. Base a line. Blitz all linebackers. Pinch linebackers. And then do that. So we're going to shade down, shade up. And you can do this real fast. It don't take a lot of time. You could just practice it before you get into the game. So we're going to put him on the running back. And we're going to stay here. You don't have to hold no button. But you can stay here for a second and just let yourself computer animated. Just go off wherever it's going to go. And you watch a route. Now we're going to look at 
what your responsibilities would have been with this type of formation in case you come across this in the gameplay. So you don't have to hold left trigger, hold right trigger. I just let go of the control. Five people blocking, two people are coming free. So if he breaks one of them sex, it's another one coming to the other side to clean it up. Now, let's look at this coverage behind it. I put that yellow zone. I got that cloud. The only thing he can throw that's a chance is this quick flat right here. Anything else will be picked off. You see what I'm saying? This guy's running all the way across the field to man him up. He can throw a low ball somewhere right here if he can get it off. Now let's see where his reads can be real fast. Boom, he hikes the ball. He has to wind up and hurry up and get rid of it. Where would he be able to throw it to? The running back would be his best route. And you have an enforcer on that side. So he's going to knock the ball loose. So we're going to base a line. We're going to blitz all. We're going to pinch the linebackers. And then we're going to press a couple times till he comes into the box. Now we can make these adjustments real fast. Man him up on the running back. Shade down, shade underneath. They can't quick hike you. I'm telling you, you get five seconds if you just practice. We all set up. And then we're going to let go of the controller. Let him go a couple steps to that running back. And we follow in that tight end. And it's all locked down. Now, you don't always have to send the blitz. This is the good thing about it. We're going to show that one more time. You don't always have to send the blitz. So I let go of the controller and my guy starts going toward his assignment. Now I take control and I'm running right there. Now he can try to throw this corner out. He already he already done. But if he tries to hurry up right there and throw the corner out, it's going to be jumped by him or the yellow zone. If he tries to throw this route, you can just click on and hit stick him. You know what I mean? Because he ain't going to have enough time to possession catch that. Catch the ball, he got to throw it right there. As soon as he hike it, he got to hike it, catch it, throw it. He got to throw it already. He got to be throwing, he got to already know and see what he want to do and throw it. If he throw it to this side, it's going to be a pick. If he throw it to the running back, it's going to be a big hit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some cover schemes. So you can base a line, do the same thing, blitz all, pinch. They all came into the box. Now you can push right D-pad, D-pad to the right. And then left trigger that's going to uh, put everybody back into their place. Shade down, shade underneath. Now we can get glitchy. Okay, so it's three threats on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard flat. And then I'm going to put him back into a cloud on that right side. Okay, so I got that hard flat to jump down on the running back because we're playing coverage. We want to take that away. Now on this other side, I'm going to put him into a purple. So I'm going to put him into a purple and I'm going to put him into a spy. So this is going to be the coverage that we're running right now. Now you just sent the blitz effectively. Even if it didn't get him and he had to throw the ball fast, that was an effective blitz. So now we're going to set up with a mid read, a purple over there to counter any kind of corner routes. And then we got a hard flat on this side. So he expecting for the same kind of pressure to come. And now we can get block sheds and good coverage. So we got a mid read. We got the purple zone. And then we got a hard flat on the right side where the running back is at. So now we're going to let this play out. And you just going to guard your responsibility. I want to take this route away. He has to throw it short. And he got three or four yards. So that's the computer making the read. But we're going to look at what he has to go through to make that read. Because he's been expecting for you to blitz. Now that you know... He throws it real short, real fast right there. You can change it up. You can put that hard flat on that guy, put the purple on the other guy, and put the cloud on this side. Because now you see, if he comes out in that formation again, so right here, now it's all coverage. No rush. All this is guarded. His main corner route is not going to get open. Look, he already got rid of the ball. His main corner route is not going to get open. He's going back so far. Look at this. That cloud is carrying so far, he has no choice but to throw it to that one. This guy jumps down hard flat on the running back. He can't make that read. And we didn't do no kind of rush. They just came in by themselves. Regular defense. Look at that block shed. I got this tight end. This guy across the middle was guarded by the spy. Perfect, perfect defense. So we're going to set up another defense. We're going to base a line. Blitz all linebackers. Pinch linebackers. Press a couple times. And then we're going to clear sift. 
it's gonna put them yellows back on there then you can rebase a line just so your guys don't get beat over top so we can hard flat re soft flat him now we can put him into a purple zone him into an inside third all you gotta do is push y y triangle triangle inside quarter boom purple zone y y triangle triangle uh inside third left stick to the left boom all set up so now we can do our mid read we can do our spy and i'm gonna watch this tight end okay so now you can spray a line if you want to crash to the right and we're gonna man him up on the running back just to try to get as much pressure as we possibly could it's a lot of people in the box we're gonna let him go off like he was boom he throws a short come up make a big hit two or three yards so you send in the blitz now you are bluffing the blitz and then that's why when he gets comfortable you bring him in press a couple times you bring him in you let him get comfortable rebase a line and now you right back to the blitz again now you can put hard flats you see that he's seeing that that first read is has a potential to be open now you can send the dogs and take that first read away so now we can go boom corner row uh corner row and then a quick flat right there we can stay right here now he can't throw it fast to nobody boom we're gonna let him come off and we got the blitz in again and that's how you play with your opponent i hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all want more tips like this drop a like on the video and i got y'all let's go